What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brush Strokes. And today I thought I'd bring you a little quick video on these helmets that I'm doing. Um, I did start these already. What I had did is just taken a red Scotch Bright pad and scuffed these all up uh, nice and good so there was no shine left. Made sure to get these little metal buttons really good. And then I went ahead and got it all taped up inside and what I did was used one of these little cups taped it up on the inside of here so I got a nice little area to pivot the helmet on I can put it right on my little stand here and my easel and then they go on sit level and I can sit there and spin them around without them you know wobbling all over the place so so once I got these scuffed up, mixed up some UVLS clear, gloss clear, the 4050, and some 4011 reducer. Got it loaded in my LPH 80, and I put just a medium coat on these. I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with another coat here. Then I'm gonna let them dry for probably a few hours at least, and then we will come in with our next step. All right, so I didn't take any footage, but I got these sprayed in white. I used Wicked Opaque White, mixed with a little bit of 4050 and some 4011. I'd say probably about 15 or 20 percent, and about the same with Reducer as well, 15 or 20 percent. So next step, I got some Pearl White mixed up. We're just using some Wicked Pearl White. Once again, I mixed in about 15% UVLS gloss clear and probably about 10 or 15% of the 4011 reducer. So we will get these sprayed in some pearl white. All right, I got my LPH 80 loaded up right at about 20 PSI, just below. And then I'm just one turn out on the fluid.
All right, so like always, I forgot to hit record, but this is a design that I'm replicating off of his bike. I just used four different uh, sizes of masking tape and made this little design on there. And then I used some Createx Detail Smoke Black um, for the shading on this. Kind of matches the color that's on the gentleman's bike. Then we're adding the Harley Bar and Shield logo on it on the front using some Avery masking. This was kind of a pain in the butt to do because it's curved this way and it's curved this way. So it's complex curves. I had to kind of overlap my vinyl, pinch it together a couple spots. As you can see right here, that would be a little bit of bleed through. So I'll just make sure I push that down before I start spraying. Um, had that on the bottom too where it kind of overlapped itself and you just kind of pinch the vinyl together and push it down as good as I can. Did hit it with the heat gun a little bit, did not help much. And then he wanted this script lettering on the back of it. So got that all masked up. Uh, this is some pretty cheap masking tape. Uh, I forget the name of it off the top of my head but I will put a link down below um, and I'll probably do a little pop-up across the bottom of the screen here with the name of this masking tape, but works good, leaves no residue, and it's super cheap. So. All right, so I mixed up some orange candy. Uh, I mixed it one to one with some UVLS gloss clear. And we're doing grabber orange here. And I mixed it one to one. I want this to be pretty strong uh, because the orange that I'm trying to match from the customer's bike is really dark. So I want this to be really saturated. We'll probably put uh, maybe five four or five coats on here um, and then if you could see where the vinyl kind of bunched up and made those creases I always like to come in with my fingernail on each side of that crease to try to push the vinyl together and then right along that edge I take my nail and push it down that way we don't get any bleed up underneath of there And also to help avoid getting uh, any paint up under those little creases, I was spraying at a pretty low air pressure. I want to say probably 10 or 15 PSI. Uh, and then I'm also trying to angle it from the outside of those creases. Uh, that way I don't blow it up underneath those creases.
and once again i did forget to take any video footage beyond this point here uh, but all i did was get these unmasked after spraying the candy and then i got three coats of 9500 tamco high impact clear coat on these i uh, use that clear coat on helmets it's extremely durable and will last a long time uh, customer did love the helmets he said they match his bike perfect so happy customer happy life that's all i had for you today keep those brushes stroking